Two choirs left to sing, and the tension is definitely mounting in the hall. Our next choir should be able to handle it. They were in the final two years ago. It's the High School of Glasgow. Well, we've made it through to the finals before, so that may give us an edge. <laughs> I think we've got a really good choir this year, and everyone's so accomplished, and it's just a great group to be in. It's a very beautiful tune. It's very well written, and the harmonies are well written, so the lines are all cohesive. I'm going to open the hymn with my solo, uh, which is really quite daunting. I think she'll probably be a bit nervous, because there's a lot of pressure on her, but I'm sure that she'll rise to the challenge. In competitions, you can't be trying to judge what the judges will want, you've just got to give you your best and hope that the judges like it. Eileen, what do you make of it? Firstly, congratulations. You have a really rich, warm tone to this choir, and, and I think that's because you really are honing in and listening to each other and, and just, I think, moving around each other, which is beautiful to see and to hear. Um, when you sang a cappella without any accompaniment, it's a beautiful thing. You show your strength as a choir. The first few bars for me were a little shaky because the notes are falling. And again, that's where you need the support. However, when you then started to go into the rise from there is nowhere, when you started to go into the higher notes and you're climbing together again, it was joyous to behold. It was just spectacular. Thank you. Uh, Susie, what did you make of it? For my taste, the opening soloist was just stunning. I love, love the quality of, of singing. Well done. Applause from your own choristers. God, that's something, isn't it? If I would be picky, I would say it would be great to find just a couple more basses <laughs> to support that great sound. But, you know, what a fantastic job you did. Thank you. Thank you. David, were you impressed? 
Yes, I was very impressed, actually, but not necessarily for the reasons you'd think. Um, I, I kind of agree with both the ladies. I agree with Mylene in as much as it wasn't flawless. But it was perfect. And the reason it was perfect, I will explain to you, is because, as Susie was trying to say, you can have a performance that is flawless, that has no meaning, that has no spirit and no heart. What you had was feel. You connected with the lyric. You connected with the meaning. You connected with the music. And that meant that I, as a listener, completely connected with you. That was a great performance. Thank you, High School of Glasgow! David Grant pointed out their communication and their bringing across of the text. That was the best compliment. Whatever happens, we've come and we've done a great performance and we've achieved what we set out to achieve.